time you ever had one of those days? I bet you have. I'm having one of those days. So today I'm here to get this job done. Because I've had enough. Okay? <laughs> today is a day when the stars just don't align. You, not every day is like this. Some days everything is perfect. Everything is wonderfully organized. It's just so smooth. It's five stars. Robert Niebuhr, give it two thumbs up. Today, however, every single time I try to accomplish anything, my plans are ruined. My dreams are falling like dead birds out of the sky, okay? Today I had plans to go to a specific pastry shop, as I usually do. And this place has a few locations. I chose this one location because it's just next to the market that I went to. That one day when I went to Maison Douce and I like went to the little market and I got the... The blood, uh, the blood sausage, and you know, I had a really nice time, blah, 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 blah. I thought, wouldn't it be nice if I go to this place, get my pastry, and then go buy a new bouquet of roses that I could display here? You don't see any roses over here, do you? That's right. So I go there, and I'm walking around, and I'm walking around, and I'm like, where is this place? I don't understand. I swear to God, it was here last week. I don't, I know it was like, it was like on this street. This is such a tiny street. And then I go on Google Maps and I'm looking at the street view and I'm like, yes, indeed, this is the place. Like, this is the building facade where this place belongs. And then I see that it's under renovations. Good for them. That's great. They're renovating. Yay. Apparently they uh, don't really keep up with the hours that they set with uh, their Google account. So it was saying that it was open until 8 p.m. tonight instead of saying that it's temporarily closed. So then I thought, oh, that's fine. That's fine. No big deal. No big deal. At least I'm here at the market so I can get myself that nice bouquet of roses I was thinking about. I take a few steps, I round the corner to the front of the market only to discover that all those stands are gone. It's only certain days of the week that all of the outdoor stands with flowers and such are available. So uh, no flowers, no flowers for me. So I thought, okay, plan one, plan two, total bust. That's all right. I'm a determined person. I am motivated, okay? I decide to move forward and I'm like, you know what? I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. Oh, by the way, it's colder than a witch's tit. It's freezing, it's the coldest day that we have had so far this season. It's so cold. I'm just trying to take footage with my phone, trying to push the buttons, just so outrageously cold. So I'm like, it's okay, it's okay. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna oh, maybe I'll go to that bakery that I went to that one day that I really, really liked. I don't remember the name of it at this moment in time, but I know it's just down the street. Uh, but oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look around the neighborhood a little bit first. And I like take a few steps away from the market and I realize Maison Douce has an establishment. The day that I visited the market, Google Maps was telling me that Maison Douce just has this place in the market. And so that's what I thought it was. No, 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 it has a whole entire like separate establishment, like steps away. And I just didn't know it. So I thought, well, you know what? I'll, I'll revisit Maison Douce. And there was a line out the door. I mean, it's negative two degrees Celsius. It's absolutely freezing cold. And there is a line of like six people out the door. So I get in line and I'm waiting. And I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting. Tick, 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 tick. And I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting. Tick, tock, 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 tock. 10 minutes in the freezing cold. And the thing that's boggling me is that people are walking out with like a baguette, a pastry. What's taking so long was a hold up. It wouldn't have been a big deal, but it was just so cold and I couldn't do the math. I was like, ah, why did it take five minutes to get that guy a baguette? And I get inside and even though they have a big selection, I'm kind of like, what are we all waiting in line for here? Is the bread magical? If you plant it, will it grow a pot of gold? I don't understand what we're all waiting for. I'm not really a bread person, so I didn't get any of the bread, but I should have just to see what, what is so extreme about it that we have to wait 20 minutes in line just to get something? Are people just like having conversations? Are we talking about our day? Is this also, is this like a bakery slash psychotherapy clinic? I like, I don't know. I finally chose something with fruit because I know I'm like, I have, I'm not a fruit person and I have not been choosing anything with fruit. They did have a crumble that looked absolutely to die for. It looked really, really good. I really wanted that crumble. But I was like, you know what? I really should get something fruity. I have, I've resisted anything fruity up to this point. I'm trying to show people what is available here in Lille and I keep getting chocolate or caramel or 
uh, marron or this and that. Today I'm getting something pink. So I asked for a little log with strawberry on top. Everything is great. I, I leave happy. I'm like, I have something. I have something that I can bring back to my home that I can share with you guys for Vlogmas. And by the way, before the lady hands me the box, she says, oh, do be careful. The pastry inside the box is very slippery. And if you tilt the box, it might ruin the pastry. And I said, okay, thank, thank you very much for the advice. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I left the pastry shop with a song in my heart. I was so happy. Although I couldn't go to the first pastry shop and I couldn't get roses, I had a pastry. Until I got about seven or eight steps out the door of the pastry shop and a guy with a bike with a hitch attached to it ran into me and I tripped and I felt the pastry shift in the box. Oh no, I know this pastry ain't looking the way that it looked when she put it in the box. It's gonna taste the same, so why don't we give it a try? I'm gonna be honest with you, I have no idea what this is. It has a sponge cake bottom. It's got some kind of pretty gel frosting paste on top. Some kind of filling, which I assume is, oh, this isn't in focus. Some kind of filling, which I assume is strawberry flavored and it had chocolate edges. Let's give it a try. Um, I don't like it. I don't like the consistency of this. I'll tell you exactly what this reminds me of. I don't like fruity stuff. There is this thing that my mom used to make. Oh, ugh, it tastes just like that. Marshmallows. What is that? What is that thing? Oh, oh it's so gross. My mom used to make this. Or somebody in my family used to make this. Strawberry fluff jello salad. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Anybody out there know what I'm talking about? Strawberry jello crushed pineapple, vanilla pudding mix, strawberries, mini marshmallows, and cool whip. A lot of cool whip. And you just mix that all together into this big, well, I'll show a picture of it. I will probably enjoy this chocolate though. So after tripping and feeling the pastry shift in the box and knowing very well, that it was gonna look like that. Uh, I was like, well, I gotta come up with something. I gotta come up with something else. I gotta go somewhere else. I gotta find another pastry shop. My fingers are ice. I'm so cold and I just, I need to get somewhere fast and I need to, I need to figure it out real quick. So I go to another pastry shop, but there are like six little boys in this shop. Oh, what is this? Oh, this looks good. Oh, how much does that cost? My mommy only gave me blah, blah, blah cents. Can I afford that? How much does this one cost? What if I wanna get this and that? It just on and on and on and on. And I was like, you know what? I'll come back another day. This place looks great. I'll be back. Uh, thank you for your, have a good day. Bonjour, me. Bye bye. I could not do these little boys not, not knowing what they want and trying to negotiate their way into getting something really good with whatever money their mommy gave them. I get in the metro, I'm Googling, right? I'm frantically Googling. Where can I go? What can I do? This article pops up and it says that Mielt has like a secret museum in their basement. It's a history of Mielt. It has old equipment used by them. It looks really cool. Like there are a couple photographs and I'm like, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to Mielt and I'm gonna ask them if this museum is accessible to the public. That's step number one. Amid all of this, my new camera is finally being delivered today after two weeks of absolute insanity. I had to sell every camera I've ever used in order to afford to buy this new camera. And it has just been like tossed around by multiple couriers and it's just been really stressful. And so when I got a text today saying that it would finally be arriving between two o'clock and six o'clock PM, I said to myself, well, that's great. I'll do all my running around as fast as I can this morning and then I'll be home by two for sure. No, no, no. 
I'm in the train station. It's 11.50 in the morning. I get a phone call. The guy is at my building and he wants to deliver the package. <laughs> so I tell him there's a guardian at the building. Like there's, there's a manager of the building. His office is right at the front door. Please, 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 please. Uh, he has a doorbell, like ring his doorbell, deliver it to him, he'll give it to me later. And the guy's like, well, is there like a mailbox I can leave it in? And I'm like, please don't leave it in a mailbox. Please do not leave, please do, please, sir, do not leave that package unattended. It can it cannot be, I can't, I cannot get this stolen at this point. I cannot afford another one. And then I'm like in the center of the city, stressed out. I can't get home fast enough to meet this guy. Then I get a notification saying that it was in fact delivered and it was signed for by my guardian. And I was like, okay, great, off to Mirt. So I get to Mirt, I walk in and I ask a very nice lady. Uh, so I heard, that, I heard that there's a museum, you know, I show her pictures. I heard there's a museum in the basement of, of Mirt. And I was just wondering if it's accessible to the public. And she said, oh yeah, there's a museum. It's not accessible. Not anybody, not just anybody can go in. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I'll just take my crapped up pastry and go in and figure out something else. I thought it would be so cool to go to the basement of Mielt and show you guys if fell through. You know, maybe I'll try to figure out if there's any way that I can get in there. Maybe they open it like once a year or something. I don't know. I will get into that place. I will get into that place, whether it's Mission Impossible style or not. I'm getting in there. All right, so. None of those things are working out for me thus far. And so I'm, my mind is racing. All right, what, what can I do now? What can I do now? What am I, what am I gonna do? Oh, there was one day, it was a Sunday, the day that I had to go to Monsieur M because this other place that I had really wanted to go to was closed, but it's open today. Oh, that's great, that's perfect. It was just, it's perfect. So I go there. It's called Juste un Petit Bout and it's very cute. I was just, this was like, when I arrived there and I walked inside and it was warm and my fingers began to unfreeze and I was taking footage of the interior and the lady behind the register was totally preoccupied by somebody else so I could take all the footage that I wanted. I was like, this is perfect. This is what my day has been building up to at last. And I took all the little footage. I'll show you all the little sweet treats because all the little sweet treats were so beautiful. They're little, pretty expensive. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that, they're expensive. One of the more expensive places that I've been, I will say. Like the pastries are over five euros. So I got a little quiche with pumpkin in it. Absolutely delicious choice. And I got this little chocolate tart. I don't remember what it's called right now. It's, it's in the footage though. A little chocolate tart. Looks like it's got like coconut flakes on the sides, a little cookie bottom, whipped cream in the center. Perfect, love it, fantastic. She boxes up the little pastry for me. She puts the quiche in some paper, hands them to me. I say, thank you very much. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you later. And I head to the Metro to go home to take beautiful, sexy B-roll of my lovely little pastry. How happy I was. What a, what a wonderful place I was in. I felt centered. I felt truly elated that I had finally accomplished my mission after many misses, and I was on my way home. And then I stepped onto the escalator to descend into the metro, and the box went flying out of my hands and tumbling down the escalator. accepted my defeat and I decided I'm just gonna go home and do what I can with what I've got because I can't keep spending money on pastries like this and then proceeding to drop them immediately thereafter. But honestly, this one, I put it back together a little bit. It's not that bad. So uh, I'm, I'm still excited. I mean, I'm, I'm excited about this. It's, gonna, it's still gonna taste delicious. It just doesn't look fantastic. Let's give it a try. Oh, that's strawberry. The strawberry thing is gross. Okay, let's take a look at what we've got. So you can see there's like a little, little cookie crust bottom. This looks like chocolate mousse. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is speculose crumble or not. We're gonna find out. 
Then there's whipped cream on top, which used to be pure white, but um, you know, mistakes were made. Oh my goodness, that's hard to cut into. The crust at the bottom looks quite dense. I wonder if it's made with chestnut. I don't mean to be a negative Nancy, but that's kind of a letdown. I'm telling you, today just isn't one of those days. I feel so bad when I have a beautiful pastry that I, like, I am very lucky to have. I have the luxury of being able to spend five euros on a pastry, and then I'm like, it's okay. Oh, the mousse is good. Okay. Oh, 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 the doorbell's ringing, the doorbell's ringing. Amazon guys, here I have, I ordered zip ties because the hardware didn't have the zip ties that I need. Where are my keys? 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 on this is actually really, really good. I mean, it's norm, it's chocolate mousse. It's one of my favorite things on earth. The crust just has a gross texture. It's like chewy, but it's almost gelatinous, but it's also like made of, like it has flour in it or something. Like it's supposed to be a cookie crust, but it's chewy and gelatinous. I don't understand. I found the ingredients on Instagram. A base of milk chocolate fondant, a dark chocolate mousse, a crunchy crust, I care to disagree, and white chocolate whipped ganache, and a cocoa streusel. Are, are we talking about the same thing? There's like a drip of ganache in this. I've said it before, I'll say it again. You win some, you lose some, folks. Some days are mediocre. <laughs> Let's rate the place that I've never been to. Let's rate Juste un petit bout. The interior, very nice. It's very clean. It's very dainty. They have some stuff on sale from local vendors, little teas, dried flowers. I like the colors. I like the ambience and they have some really nice house plants in the front window. I really like the way that it's put together inside. It doesn't feel crowded. It feels like clean and spacious even though it's small and it still has this cozy element to it because they have plants to kind of warm up the feeling of the room. So I'm gonna give the atmosphere a yummy. I'm gonna give the selection a yummy. I wasn't blown away by anything. I had, a, I had a hard time choosing what to get because none of it was really speaking to me. And for the tastiness, yummy. We got yummies all across the board here. Before I stop recording, I just wanna make sure that this only has zip ties in it. It's a pretty big box for zip ties. Maybe I ordered mega super huge zip ties and I'm just unaware of what size I got. I needed bigger zip ties, but not this big. Oh my God. and I bought some 20 centimeter zip ties. They were too short for what I needed them for. And so I quickly ordered some bigger ones on Amazon. I just didn't realize they were so big. I gotta go, I, got, I gotta go. I, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta quit while I'm ahead. If I can get this edited, then that means that I can get some other stuff done today that I would really like to get done. Uh, I'm sorry for... <laughs> I just am. <laughs> you have a good day and I'll see you tomorrow. Let's hope the stars align for me tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.